hello i'm back with another one if you're new to my channel welcome please hit on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a clip today we are making one more pepper one more and while i have a lot of things to say about one more apart from the fact that it has collagen and it's a low caloric food that we enjoy so much in Nigeria. We make it with pepper and it's a favorite in parties with your abacha. It's paired with so many things. I think I'll do a separate video eventually explaining all the debate about whether it's nutritional or not. But today we are just going to make this very delicious for more <laughs> so that when you decide whether it's something you like or not this is the recipe you will follow so i cut my bubble which has been washed thoroughly you can see how clean clean this is seasoned with salt some crayfish use about two tablespoons of crayfish for this amount and then i am going to go ahead and add some beef cubes pepper ginger powder Time. Curry. Of course, we love to steam and pre cook our meats with some onions. Like, I just grew up, my mom literally did this. <laughs> this is how I let it just cut some onions. Steam your meat, steam your beef, chicken, anything. <laughs> and you know, so this is like so quick, so fast. It's like a, a steady something. Okay. Now we're going to add some water and just a little bit. You don't want the water to submerge this for more, and we'll mix everything and let this cook for about 30 to 40 minutes. Now the essence of this is some of this pomeros, this cow hide, cow skin, kanda that they sell in the market are not properly cooked and washed. So we want to make sure that it cooks and we want to make sure it absorbs every flavor. I got peppers, I got onion and green pepper for garnishing and I got some peppers and onions for spicing our pomo. So you want to keep checking back and stirring. Yes, look at that. The broth is getting thick. Oh my goodness. We will cook this down until it is thick and you can see the gelatin form in the broth, okay? So this is exactly what we want. I'm going ahead to pound my pepper and I added some scallion green onions into it. That gives it that amazing color. <laughs> it's so quick, so easy. So let's go ahead and make our pepper one more. I've turned up the heat. Vegetable oil and then add your pepper. Season with some salt and a little bit of seasoning here. I use like half of a nor cube. Right for a minute or two, and then we're going to go ahead and add our more at this point. Oh my goodness! 
Look at that. Ooh, so hot. <laughs> I'm bringing it straight from the fire, I tell you. How do you love your omelette? It's so spicy. Please and please use the amount and quantity of pepper you can tolerate. Yes. I enjoy this as a snack. Oh my goodness. And, and you just get your bottle of mortina by the side. I tell you that's the deal. Oh my goodness. Look at all that gelatin. I'm not including the rest of the broth because the skin has covered most of it already. One more can be bland, but if you make it this way, oh my goodness, you will come back and thank me later. Use a generous amount of onions. And then the great forehead and add some green pepper. I tell you, the onions and green pepper will improve the taste and flavor of this other combo and you will come back And you want the onions to be cooked, okay? You want it to be crunchy and cooked. Great some nuts in it. It's going to so, so, so make this so tasty and add a lot of delicious fragrance. Look at that. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. What will you pair this with? Let me know in the comment section. I love to hear from you guys. I hope you give this recipe a try. Garnish with some extra um, fresh onions and enjoy i got my malt in the fridge chilling i'll be back again with another one to so my ogs i love you guys bye <laughs> bye, -bye.